Hello YouTube, welcome back to another video. Today I'm doing a review of the PlayStation VR. Now, if you haven't tried PlayStation VR, I recommend that you try it out. You can, I'm sure there's a store that is charging you um, to play the PlayStation VR. Um, like 15 quid or something like that, um, which is kind of ridiculous, but you know, if you don't have the money for PSVR then I'm sure you try that or try a friend who has it. I happen to be that friend who has PlayStation VR. So I'm going to get into the review. Uh, yeah. Obviously the box, um, this is pretty much what I've been doing past since I've had it. I've been playing PlayStation VR like a lot. Um, so like the first few days I did get a lot of motion sickness, uh, mainly for from a few games, certain games, um, that I will talk about later. For now let's get into it. So this is the headset itself. Um, if I can grab it. Okay. Great, the wires are falling. Anyway, this is the PlayStation VR headset. And it, it looks awesome. It's very kind of sci-fi looking, and yeah, they're the tracking bits at the front there. Oh, I still got. I don't even realize I still got stickers on. Ugh. Yeah, the headset. Um, kind of got a button at the back, so you can like you pull this headband out to fit your head. Um, yeah, that's it. I'm gonna put that down. Okay. I just got a this um, controls. It's got volume up, volume down. It's got mute, and it's got the power one. And it's got a headphone jack. It comes with headphones. Um, some some come, came with um, lens protectors, but they're not lens protectors. The the light kind of lens protectors, but they're not. Uh, mine didn't come with any. Um, yeah, and then we got the cable going to the breakout box. Because um, you get a breakout box. Um, yeah. It, it, it does a bunch of different things that I can't remember. Uh, but I'm talking about the PSVR in general, so... Okay, so, yeah. Um, unfortunately, I've had... Um, there was some issues with it. Mainly, people... Um, I don't think people are talking about this. Um, I'm not sure. In videos, but glasses. How does this work with glasses? Um, these are my glasses, they're kind of small, so they're, they're plasticky, and yeah. Um, do they work with the VR? They do. Um, but unfortunately, I've had many issues that, obviously Sony don't tell you this, but I've had many issues. Unfortunately, main issue is scratching the lenses, or even, I don't know if you can see in the video, uh, they're the lenses. There's also a, I don't know if you can see it, there's like a middle sensor thing, I know is, I suppose it's a sensor, I think. Is it, I don't know, I didn't tell you in the manual, so, I know what it is, it's a sensor or something. Um, but I've scratched it, I've scratched the sensor thing in the middle, and I have some smudges for my glasses, and now, I don't wear my glasses while I use it, because it just ends up scratching VR. The, the lenses and the sensor thing, um, which is a pain, and I didn't really consider that when I first tried it. Um, I really wanted the best experience possible, so I pushed it as close as I could, not thinking about it would scratch the lenses and the sensor thing, and it has. And unfortunately, now obviously I don't play with my glasses on. I can still see. Some people might be able to if you have an issue of scratching the lenses with glasses um, there's a few different things you can do um, one of them is uh, obviously not wear glasses um, contacts is another thing though unfortunately uh, some might be able to 
to see it without their glasses. It de really depends on like how you know your prescription is, you know how bad your eyesight is and stuff like that. But wouldn't it make your eyes worse? Wearing it without your glasses, it would probably make your eyes worse because you're wearing glasses for a reason anyway. But um, that's for another topic anyway. But yeah, it's a real pain scratching the lenses. So I don't wear my glasses. Sometimes it is blurry for me, especially in like there's things in the distance. I can't work out what it is because I can't see it. Um, some people are saying that you can move it further from your face, but for me. It ruins the immersion of VR. It's, VR, in my opinion, is supposed to be all around you, everywhere you look. Um, now there is a thing underneath. Um, this light comes in underneath. Um, sometimes you can see, the, like the real world, you call, you should call it, um, and it, it really puts you off, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, I actually haven't talked about this, but I forgot to mention it, but is PSVR good? Is it worth it? Should you buy it? Should you not buy it? It's awesome. Yes, it is awesome. It's the first time I tried um, PSVR. I downloaded a couple of demos and I cried. I cried. They were, don't worry, they weren't sad tears. They were happy tears, but I cried because it was just so awesome to do. And it, it was just like... It was like this animation thing, and um, it was just awesome. And I cried, even though I had some fogging issues. I'll get to that in a bit, but um, yeah, I cried, and I had to take my headset off and give it a break for a bit because it was kind of very impressive that I cried. Happy tears, but yeah. Um, just talking about fogging, some people are having a lot of fogging issues. Now, I'd, I haven't, but I did the first time I used it, and it was kind of annoying because it was blurry in one eye but it's still I still I was like ah I'll just leave it and uh, I enjoyed it eventually I wiped it off but um, I've had it a few times but not as bad as most people um, it's not really an issue for me um, uh, yeah I haven't really had that that problem but it, it's really awesome the PSVR you should definitely try it it is yeah it's there's not really words to describe it. It's very awesome experience, and the fact that I tried it also makes it shows that it really is that good. If you can make me cry, because I don't cry, so yeah. Um. Okay, so we're gonna get to the games now. So what I've experienced and played, not many at all. Lack of money and all that, but. The PlayStation VR demo disc, it comes with eight demos on it. Um, now the only reason um, I recommend that you probably don't uh, even then bother installing it because you can download the digital one and it comes with a bunch more games. Um, the only reason I installed this was because it was taking forever for me to download it. Uh, so I was playing this while it took forever to download but yeah if, if your internet speeds fast then definitely download the digital the digital one because you get a lot more games on it so yeah um the most impressive games for me that i recommend that you try is until dawn wash your blood that one was awesome and also playstation vr world the um that London Heist, that one was uh, really impressive as well and you definitely get a better experience with the motion controllers. Yes, so old technology, how do they do? They do awesome actually. Um, yes, I've had a bunch of issues having to recalibrate the controllers quite a lot early on but then I readjusted the camera and did a lot of the settings that they don't kind of tell you to do in the t like the tutorial uh, thing of setting VR up and it now it works awesome and I don't really have the issues um, I do sometimes but not not really enough to ruin the experience uh, also I got another game uh, Until Dawn Wish Your Blood 
I may do a review of this, I'm not sure if I'm gonna though. Um, now, it's a horror genre game. Um, now, for me, horror games don't scare me anymore. If you know any scary horror games that you think are scary, then let me know in the comments section or message me or something because I wanna know because I don't get scared of horror games anymore but we are horror now that's a different story because we are horror is just so more immersive and awesome and just horror games are just like probably the best genre for VR I believe because they're a lot more scarier I've even jumped a couple of times I think I in my review of Until Dawn Wish of Blood that I might do I don't know yet um, I'm gonna do a Reactions now. I don't cry. I don't scream. I'm not gonna throw my head f headset off and break it or anything like that um, But I certainly have jumped a few times and uh, I've already kind of got some clips saved from my reactions of this game um, So I'll probably put it in the review of it. Um, I don't know yet, but uh, yeah, it's really scary I didn't really understand the story um, Some people might you whinging at me saying, oh, this story is good and all that, but uh, for me, I just, yes, it's short. Um, you get the real ending, or something like that, the true real ending is called, if you beat all four more, the difficulties, uh, which is, I guess it's a way to add replay value to the game, but I'm not sure I'd actually beat the final one, because you only get like one life. So I'm not sure, I'd probably look up the ending because I probably wouldn't be able to beat it. Um, I'm going to play more of this hopefully to unlock that true ending. Um, you also, there's hidden collectibles, I guess they're mainly for achievements. Um, there's also a hidden hidden one in each level that yeah, you have to look at. I didn't find any of them during my first playthrough, but they apparently give you more story when you find them or something like that. So. Yeah, it's an awesome game though. It's an awesome horror game. So yeah, you should definitely check this one out. It's a recommendation from Super Static Gamer. Um, okay, yeah. Uh, I also want to get into some of the bad experiences of PlayStation VR because there has been some moments. Uh, mainly when I was first trying VR, I'd spent a lot of time. That's probably the reason could be a reason why um, but I got severe motion sickness like it was terribly bad and it was horrific and I could not play continue playing VR because it was just so bad um, it was a drive could give me motion sickness but it wasn't that bad um, but there was another demo what was it called so now you see me, or it was something like that. Now you see me, or uh, it was something like that along those lines. Yeah, character walking around, and I think, well, you're not walking, but the character's walking, and it really gave me severe motion sickness. And it's certainly a game that I won't buy because I will not be able to go through it because it's just severe motion sickness I get from that. And I don't really get motion sickness, so that's saying something uh, yeah so there's that um, I really I want to try it again hopefully not to get motion sickness off it maybe I will maybe it's because I was playing too long in VR I don't know um, but they're the main ones that I really had issues with all over the some are okay, but obviously, like I said, the main ones to try, uh, the demos are Rush of Blood and the VR Worlds London Heights them ones were probably the best demos that I played. Oh, also the Resident Evil Kitchen demo uh, was pretty awesome as well. But I'm, I'm afraid now for VR, I'm afraid for Resident Evil 7 because if it's, obviously it's going to be you walking around, I feel I'm going to get severe motion sickness with that. Um, let me know in the comments if you've had severe motion sickness from that game um, that I said. 
but yeah, now I'm afraid because I was excited for that game, but now I don't know because I might get severe motion sickness and um, if that's the case, I won't be playing in VR, which sucks, but you know. But yeah. So that is my review of the PlayStation VR. Um, it's very awesome. Um, yeah, it is, because it, it's just awesome. Um, I hope you like this video. If you have, you can comment um, on the video, like the video, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. If I feel I've missed something out of the video, I'll probably make a part two if I feel I've missed something, but I'm not sure I have. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.